Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we discuss about lockout. What are the ways to lock out a user from the system? So let me show you the very first and the direct method that is directly from the user account. So this is my demo instance. This is the demo user here, Lucius Bagnoli. And you see here, locked out, okay? So as soon as we opted this option, so if the user is locked in, it will be locked out and it will not be able to log in until unless we clear this flag. So you can use this lockout option when you don't want the user to be inactive, but you want him to be out of the system for certain time limit. Okay, let's say one month, two months or whatever time limit you want to do that. So let me show you. Let's save this. So you see here right now this user is locked in. So you see here as soon as I reload, what will happen? You see we logged out from the system and now let me try to log in. Provide password. You see this message is coming because we have opted for logged out here. Okay. Until unless we clear this flag, user will not be able to log in. So let's clear the flag. Now let's try to log in. You see we are able to log in now. So this is the lockout option from user account. There is one more option. If you want to lock out user for one time only, that is from the current session. So you may need to do this exercise for various purposes. Let's say if you are doing some activity, let's say if you are doing some deployment and you want user to lock out. So in that case, you can use it, but only for one time. So in that case, you see, this is my background script and I am using this client session dot lockout session in on loads and then the username of the user. If I run this, let me run this. You see the message logged out user this. Okay. So Lucius Bagnoli is now logged out. So now if I come here and reload this, you see the message. The user session is expired. You need to log in again. So now let's log in again. Let me see if I'm able to log in again. Let me provide the username, password. So I'm able to log in properly. It means that particular background script worked only for one time. So in case if you have such requirement, you can use this particular function of glide session. Okay. So this is the difference between the lockout directly from user account and using the script. Whatever suits you best, you can do it. Okay. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Bye bye.